In today's video, I'll be discussing whether our country will be going into a Great Depression in the year 2030. Hey folks, I'm David McKnight, best-selling author of The Power of Zero. Today I'm going to be sharing with you evidence that absent immediate and dramatic fiscal realignment by the federal government, our country will be mired down in a Great Depression by the year 2030. To buttress my point, I'm going to be citing evidence from three different economists that have very specific predictions about this coming financial calamity. First, Brian Bolu. He served as the CEO of ITR Economics since 1987. He gets paid by leading Fortune 500 companies to predict the future. And guess what? He's done so with 95% accuracy over the last 35 years. That includes predicting the stock market implosion of 2008 due to collateralized mortgage obligations. The second is former Comptroller General of the federal government, David M. Walker. He was the head of the Government Accountability Office for 10 years under Bush and Clinton. In layman's terms, he was the CPA of the USA. The third expert is Maya McGinnis, who is the president of the Bipartisan Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. First, let's focus on the apocalyptic predictions of Brian Bolu. In short, he believes that our country will undergo a Great Depression beginning in 2030. This primarily comes down to massive unfunded obligations due to a demographic glitch known as the baby boomers. The baby boomers had nearly 30 million fewer children than their parents did, and as a result, there won't be anywhere close to enough money to pay out promised entitlements like Social Security and Medicare. In the years that lead up to 2030, nearly all baby boomers will have left the workforce and will no longer be putting money into these programs and will begin to take money out. And as a result, Medicare goes completely bust in 2026, and by 2030, Social Security will be well on its way to an across-the-board cut of 25%. Here's how Brian Bolu described the consequences of these massive unfunded obligations. Quote, there are demographic trends that mean eventual significant financial distress for the United States. These trends are dominant. We are aging as a nation. We have entitlement programs tied to aging that are not financially viable. We will go broke and experience the Great Depression of the 2030s unless something changes. Close quote. So, as a result of these huge unfunded obligations, according to Bolu, we will experience, quote, broad-based financial distress, close quote. He then goes on to say that, quote, we also assume that political inertia means that we will wait until we are in the midst of the financial crisis, circa 2026 to 2036, before effecting meaningful change. The longer we wait to correct these trends, the more painful the remedy becomes in the short term. Hence, the combination of demographics and the twin entitlements of Social Security and Medicare tie in very well with our theory that a Great Depression is coming and that its advent is probable around 2030, close quote. When the government finally does come to their senses, what alternatives will they have to stave off calamity? For those of you who have been watching my videos for any amount of time, this recipe will sound all too familiar. Brian Bolu explains, quote, reduce benefits or raise taxes will be the primary choices confronting politicians. The path of least resistance will be to increase taxes on the rich. That is an interesting concept because politicians will get to decide who the rich are. Most likely, they will construe the rich as those with higher incomes or with substantial assets. The rich today pay most of the taxes the government receives. Get ready to pony up even more in the future, close quote. So, dramatically increase taxes, dramatically reduce benefits, or some combination of the two. But who will the government classify as rich when it comes to raising taxes. If you recall from my recent video, How High Will Biden Have to Raise Your Taxes? I explained how Maya McGinnis's recent study showed that just to prevent the debt from growing at a rate in excess of $1 trillion per year by 2025, the government would have to raise taxes on any dollar earned above $400,000 to 102 percent. Well, that's obviously not feasible because nobody will work for negative compensation. The study finally concluded that taxes would have to go up on all taxpayers across the board to an effective rate of 42%. In other words, to keep our country solvent, nearly every taxpayer will fall under the crosshairs of the IRS's massive tax increases. David Walker in his well-known book, Comeback America, seems to confirm this prediction. Take a listen to what he had to say. Quote, right now, on average, Americans pay about 21% of their income in federal taxes and another 10% to state and local governments. 
By 2030, to pay our rising bills, that amount could be at least 45%, higher even than the average 42% that most Europeans pay. By 2040, it would be at least 53% and climbing. In reality, total taxes in 2030 and 2040 would be even higher than these estimates because of the fiscal challenges facing state and local governments, such as Medicaid costs, uh, unfunded retiree health care promises, underfunded pension plans, deferred maintenance, and other critical infrastructure needs, and higher education funding, close quote. The one thing that all three of these experts seem to agree upon is that tax rates will have to go up dramatically by 2030. But they also agree that politicians are likely to kick the can down the road and avoid doing so until then. And unfortunately, by that point, the financial apocalypse predicted by Brian Ballou will already be upon us. So, how can you best prepare for the Great Depression of 2030? Well, for starters, you should begin a well-coordinated plan to get your hard-earned retirement savings repositioned to tax-free. Pay taxes on those assets over the next eight years at historically low tax rates so that by the time tax rates double in 2030, you have done all the heavy lifting and can take those dollars out tax-free. If you need help protecting your retirement accounts from the Great Depression of 2030, head on over to davidmcknight.com and click on the Work with David button. I'm happy to lend a hand. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I respond to all of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.